Hi everyone, hope you are doing well from wherever you're watching this channel, depending on your time zone. Now it is clear that Raila Molodinga is not alone. He has a strong backing from his running mate, Mother Karua. Kalondo Musioka is backing Raila Molodinga. And of course, once you see Jubilee Party, Jeremiah Kione, as Secretary General, standing there, it means Uhuru Kenyatta is backing Raila Odinga. And of course, again, Raila has the support of his followers. That's a strong team. So yesterday, a statement was sent to the newsroom by Raila Molodinga's spokesperson, Dennis Onyango. And in that statement, it was clear that Raila Molodinga is going to address supporters in public baraza. We analyzed it here. Now, today in the morning, Mother Karua, in a series of tweets, she's demanding IBC to open the server used in August 8th, uh, 9th, 2022 presidential election for scrutiny. And she's insisting that <clears throat> the whistleblowers have released crucial data which cannot be ignored. So first of all, let us check on the tweet from Mother Karua, and then we understand what she's trying to do as of now, ahead of Raila Molodinga's arrival. The truth shall not be forgotten, shall not and cannot be buried. The truth will always out. The time is now. Second tweet. As citizens, we have a right to information. The truth lies in the server. Those doubting the whistleblower's data shall should de demand servers to be laid bare. We have to get to the bottom of this to free Kenyans once and for all from election deceit. IBC as the duty bear holds the records on our behalf. The records belong to us and all power is exercised by each and every office on our behalf. Wherever you are, <coughs> whoever you are, listen and do what the constitution sanctions. Lay bare the servers. The Supreme Court is Functor's official. Its work is done. Under discussions is crucial. Evidence via a whistleblower, which on the face of it is is authentic. Nobody doubts we have our records to to refer to, aka server period. That is Mother Karua. Now, before we continue to understand what Mother Karua is trying to do, just a quick request for those who are watching and if you're not subscribed, please consider subscribing to our channel subscribers. Thank you so much. And again, to all our viewers, please give this video a thumbs up. Thank you and back to this discussion. Now, if you read those tweets carefully, you will understand that Mother Karua is trying to set the stage for Ayla Monodinga to come and lay a foundation on it as he land in this country. Because now the information is very clear. Everyone is waiting for Ayla Monodinga to land in this country. Then from JKIA, of course, all the way to the People's Baraza for meetings. So she's actually laying the ground. So Raila Munodinga will found that the stage has been set, discussion has been set, and the demand is in everyone's mind. Because now, if Raila Munodinga is coming to talk to the people, and the issue is that whistleblower has revealed a crucial information. So they have the information. So what next? The issue is that before you do anything else, for the doubting Thomas, Asmio will demand that IBC to open the server. If they doubt, then open the server. That should be the bare minimum. Open the server. Then we compare what we have with what you have in the servers. That is it. And uh, if Azmio believe that they won the election, free, fair, and square, 
then they have nothing to fear when it comes to opening the servers. If indeed the IBC chairman sent Wafula Chebukati, who has been sanitized by William Samuel Ruto, the sanitizer is not working. He believed that he delivered a free, fair, and verifiable election, then they should not hesitate to open the servers. That is the demand Raila Denga is going to ask for. And therefore, if they are not going to open the server, then it means there is something they are trying to hide. There is crucial information they are trying to hide from. And for the peace of this country and unity, and to have trust in IBC for the near general election which will come in 2027, 2032, continuously like that, then we have to come to the conclusion of this matter by opening the server. We want to know who is lying to the people. And we want to ashamed the devil. If the devil is in Azimio's side, then he will be ashamed. And if the devil is in the Kenya Kwanza side, he will be ashamed. But again, we are not uh, blaming Kenya Kwanza. The blame here is on the IBC. Because if you have an IBC chairman and the team which is not compromised, then even if any of these players would go to them, I think they will stand out with the truth. But if you have a compromised IBC, it means anyone who has some influence can reach out to them and uh, compromise them. So, the truth is that the IBC is under capture. That's why some people with their own interests can reach out and uh, at the end of the day, we might not have the rightful person elected by the people. We will end up having a president coming from the minority. But then the majority side being silenced eh, by a few individuals with their own interest in Kenyan politics, Kenyan economy, and everything to do with governance in this country. That is where the problem is. And uh, if you check on Mother Karo, she's saying that the Supreme Court finished their duty. They have no problem with the Supreme Court. They made their ruling whether it was right or wrong. So they have nothing to do with the Supreme Court. But now the discussion is that open the server. Remove Supreme Court from this matter. They made their ruling because now as Mio, not as Mio, the Kenya Kwanza side are saying that the Supreme Court delivered. They made their ruling. So, no one should talk about this election because the Supreme Court already spoke. No. There's no one who is contesting about the ruling from the Supreme Court. Because we know when they make the ruling, it is done, whether it was right or wrong. Eh? But you can not only challenge them, maybe like what Mother Karua is trying to do through the East Africa Court of Justice. Or ISCC, if you have some evidence, you can take there. So that is the only way to go. <clears throat> so there is no one who wants to take this blame to the Supreme Court. The issue is that open the server. So it is on around the IEBC. They are not going to the Supreme Court. So let IEBC open the server and we check between the whistleblower and what they have. Compare the notes and know the truth. Because according to them, they have crucial, serious evidence. It's like they have not shared it out so that everyone will go through it. That's why you will see Kion will just come with a paper and try to say what they are saying. But now they are going to lay the foundation so that everyone will go through those information, check the figures and confirm the reality. So not Supreme Court. It is IBC to open the server. So Kenyans will be focusing on the IEBC. 
open the server because that's where the problem starts from. The root of the problem is in the IBS first. So let them open the server and then we compare. As simple as that. So they're setting the pace and Ayla Monodinga will come. Then from there, discussion will pick up and the people will end up knowing the truth at the end of the day. I don't know your views, but let us meet in the comment section for continuation of this conversation. Thank you.